Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good Easter. It is freezing and raining here right now. It's making me really tired. Um, I am trying to figure out what the heck's going on with my laptop right now. I have some sublimation stuff I need to get printed out. And I noticed over the weekend it was saying um, plugged in, not charging. And my husband has the same charger for his laptop and it's still saying it. So I think my battery might be shot. <laughs> Hopefully it isn't. I'm trying to do um, some diagnostic things right now that I found on Google. And then if I can get it figured out, I'm going to print some sublimation stuff. And then I need to get some uh, bee charms on my cups, my honeybee cups from last week. I also need to get a couple of the flat decal bees printed out. And then get the final layers of epoxy on those. And what else do I need to do today? Maybe rhinestone some of the lids um, for the honeybee tumblers that want bling lids. I guess I'll do that. It's raining. We're not going to be able to get outside today. It's going to be cold. Um, yeah. I also have the um, handle cup that has the screw-on lid that I can bling coming today. So I'll also have to get that glittered and epoxied when that gets here as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And if I can get my laptop charged, I'm going to start editing um, the keychain video that I mentioned in last week's vlog. So hopefully by the time you guys see this, that video will be up. Um, but yeah, I'm dealing with technology stuff right now. And I don't enjoy dealing with technology stuff when it doesn't work how it's supposed to. So I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so after running those diagnostics, um, it looks like I need a new battery for my laptop. So that's fun because my warranty just ran out. Of course, it always happens that way. Um, but I did find one on Amazon that was like 20 bucks or 29 bucks. And there was a 10% off coupon available. So it came out to like $20 and some change. And it looks like it'll be here tomorrow. So I'm going to wait to print my sublimation stuff out tomorrow. Um, for right now, I'm just going to start um, assembling the preschool keychains or preschool medallions. They're going to have these lanyards on them. These are for my son's preschool. I was working on these. I was working on these last week, epoxying them. This is why I can't work downstairs. Um, I epoxied these last week. I did... Okay, anyway. I was working on these last week. I epoxied 30 of them front and back, so I still have 19 of them to do. I'm going to work on epoxying one side of those while my son is at preschool today. And also while he's at preschool, I am going to apply my bee charms with the UV resin and get those epoxied. And if I have time while he's at school, I might start the Milky Way on the Galaxy Tumblr that I started last week for one of my Etsy orders. So I'll be sure to take you guys along for that. For now, I'm going to start putting these jump rings on and putting the lanyards on and kind of inspecting all of them. If any of them have any like little defects, I will put a layer of UV resin on them. So that's the plan for right now. I got this bulk set of lanyards off of Amazon. They have a bunch of different colors and they come in a pack of 50. Um, and I think they're like 16 bucks, maybe 17 bucks. Um, I used these last year as well. And then I also got the jump rings off of Amazon. I got the Bead Nova brand. I'll have it linked down below. And I got the 8mm jump rings.
So I just attached the jump ring through the hole up there and then stick the lanyard on that and then I will close this jump ring off with these little needle nose plier things. I also got these on Amazon. If you don't have them, I will try to link them down below. I really, really, really like these things. And I'm not used to having nails on. I put these press-on nails on so I can have fancy nails for Easter. And I'm not used to having nails on, so everything is a little bit awkward for me right now. All right, there it is once the jump ring is closed off. And then they have these little lanyards that they will wear for their programs. Super cute. Hey guys, checking back in. So I got quite a few of the lanyards attached to the uh, preschool medallions. I have a couple that I have to touch up, um, but right now I am just cutting out the white um, backing that I'm going to use on my decal honeybees. Um, I like to use white vinyl underneath my clear vinyl when I have something that needs an intricate cut because my um, Cricut Design Space does not like to work. Uh, <laughs> the print and cut feature never works correctly. So this is a little hack that I've found makes my life so much easier. I showed it in one of my videos, uh, my Let's Go Girls uh, Tumblr. I did it in that one. So I am just weeding out the little pieces between their legs here and then I will apply these to the cup and then once my clear spray paint is dry on the water slide I will just add them right over top of this. You don't have to epoxy in between. So I'm going to put these on maybe about 20 minutes before I have to get my son dressed for preschool. So we'll see if I can get those on before he goes and then when I get back I will be working on epoxying the rest of the preschool medallions and I am going to also get the charm bees on the cups that I have charm bees for and get the final coats of epoxy on that as well and hopefully if I have time I will do the uh, Milky Way part of my galaxy cup so um, but that's pretty much all I have to do today. I'm also going to start blinging this lid for one of the honeybee cups. So, decal bees, get my son dressed and take him to preschool, and I will check back in a little bit. Alright, I'm back from taking my son to school. Now I'm getting ready to just apply the little rhinestone beans with some UV resin. If you want to see how I do that, you can find it in my Honeybee Tumblr tutorial. And then, after I get that applied, I'm just going to finish epoxying these. I have a little wine tumbler I'm doing. This one is the one with the flat bees. This is my Galaxy Tumblr, so I am going to apply some resin onto that and then do the Milky Way effect. This one's getting 3D bees and excuse my mess, <laughs> this one is going to be a beach split tumbler, which needs another layer of epoxy before I can sand and do all that. So that's the plan for right now. After that, I'm going to finish or start epoxying the next round of preschool medallions. And then I think I'm going to eat some lunch and maybe start blinging that lid if I have enough time before I have to go pick up my kids from school. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. 
I'm not gonna have too much to vlog today. I am about to go into the hospital. My mom's in the hospital. And then I have to make a house call to cut my dad's hair. If you don't know, I am a cosmetologist and I specialized in bridal makeup. And then when COVID hit, um, I got into tumbler making and it just took off from there. So when I get home, I am going to start blinging some um, honeybee lids and then hopefully when I get home my laptop battery will be there because I do have some sublimation stuff to print out so yeah I will check in with you guys when I get back home and start working hey guys I am now back home I am just working on blinging this lid listening to some true crime and just hanging out for a little bit before I have to go pick up my daughter um, I'm not gonna do too much more work today. I think I might work on my Etsy shop a little bit. I need to work on some listings and I'm still waiting on my laptop battery. So when that comes, I will definitely start editing the keychain video. But as far as like physical work goes today, I'm just working on blinging this lid. So tomorrow I should have more to do and more to show you guys. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning you guys it is now a Wednesday um, yesterday I just finished up this rhinestone lid this is literally the only thing I got done yesterday since I was gone yesterday morning um, my laptop battery did come so I have the rest of the uh, preschool medallions printed out so I can sublimate them I <laughs> I messed up these. These ones were less than perfect. There was like a pressure issue. So I have seven of them that I need to redo. And I'm just going to do that on the back. And then I will tape off the front. Um, or tape off the new design. And I'm going to paint this. And then I'll just epoxy those. So that's the last thing I have to do. Finish epoxying those. <clears throat> what else do I have to do today? I have a water slide drying right now for a beach cup. Um, I also have this one right here that I need to add some glitter to. And I also need to take pictures and videos of some of the honeybee cups. I did a new style on the honeybee cup. It's super cute. It's a wine tumbler. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't have lids because I got Ozark Trail brand from Walmart because they were on sale for super cheap so I think I got like nine of them and they don't have lids so I'm trying to figure out how to price those I don't know if people are going to be interested in wine tumblers without lids so we'll see but it is super cute and I can't wait to show you guys what else do I have on my to-do list for today I will be at my son's preschool. Um, he has a trikathon. They do one every year for St. Jude. They raise money for. Um, so I will be watching that today. I don't know how long I'll be there for that. Maybe like an hour. So I'm trying to get as much work done as I can this morning. 
because usually by the time my daughter gets home at three, I don't have time to do much work. So that's the plan. Maybe I'll try to edit that keychain video after my daughter gets back tonight. And I think that is all I have to do for today. So I will take you guys along and let's have a happy Wednesday. I am about to put the beach water slide on this beach split tumbler. If you guys want to see how to make this, I do have a tutorial on my channel for it. All right, the water slide is on. Now I just need to cut off this excess and let it dry and then it will be ready for um, epoxy. I also gotta print out or cut out the decal for this. So I don't know if I'll have time to do that today, maybe later tonight, but it is about 10.30 now. So I will need to be getting ready to go to the preschool trikathon soon. Ugh, I hate days where I have other things to do because I feel like I'm not productive in getting my Tumblr stuff done. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Last week was kind of crazy. Um, now this week's kind of crazy. I got some stuff going on. So... I haven't felt very productive in the past two weeks, but it's all right. It's all right. We're moving along. There we go. I'm just sublimating these keychains and putting my giant cosmetology book on the top so they stay flat while they're drying. Not while they're drying, while they're cooling down because when you sublimate these, especially in a big uh, heat press like this, they get a little bit soft. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you have something heavy to set these on and um, I press for 400 for 60 seconds. And you want to make sure your pressure isn't a lot because um, you'll get tape marks. I'm actually, I less uh, lowered my pressure a lot. So, but if you're planning on um, epoxying them anyway, you, you won't see the tape marks. So, low pressure, 400 for 60 seconds. All right, I got a couple more left and then I'm going to try to finish epoxying these. All right, so I'm back from taking my son to preschool, put some makeup on, and I have about an hour and a half before I go back for the trikathon. So I'm going to try to get the rest of these medallions epoxied. 
I have 17 to do, so I need to get on it. <laughs> I will check back in with you guys really soon. Good morning, you guys. Well, afternoon now. It's about 1 o'clock. I haven't done much today. Um, before I get any farther, before I get any farther, I just wanted to say excuse my hair. I took a shower this morning, and then I've just been letting it air dry. And this is what it looks like. It's always frizzy. I wish I was committed enough to do the curly girl method, um, but I don't really like, I like how my hair looks naturally, but I don't want to wear it like that all the time, you know? So I don't think I have enough commitment for the curly girl method um, because I, don't, I like, I like curling iron, iron curls too. So anyway, I haven't done much today. I just epoxied some cups. Um, what else did I do? I glittered a honeybee cup, which is nothing that you haven't seen before. Got that epoxied, got some other cups epoxied, and now I am about to finish assembling the preschool keychains, putting the lanyards on those while my videos are rendering. Once they finish rendering here in about 45 minutes, I'm going to start editing and doing a voiceover for that um, and hopefully get that up today. So it's Thursday. I'm hoping I can get it edited, voiceover, and uploaded at least by tonight. We'll see. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I will most likely not be working. Um, I do have a couple of cups to drop off at the post office, but my son is turning four on the 25th. So we are having his birthday party um, Saturday, so tomorrow I have to uh, get food and plates and um, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be running errands tomorrow to get ready for his birthday party. And then Sunday we have my dad's Easter. So this might be the last time I check back in with you this week. Another boring vlog. These past two weeks have just thrown some curveballs at me, <laughs> and uh, I just happened to start vlogging right in the middle of all the chaos. So, like I said in my last one, these will hopefully get better as I go. Um, yeah. If, if I don't check back in with you guys um, anymore this week, I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoy the keychain tutorial. Let me know what you guys are thinking about these vlogs. I wish my life was more exciting. I really wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.